Okay, when you're ready, give me a countdown and all that stuff. Let me know when you want to start and we'll get started. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm Jiwi. I'll be showcasing to you uh, tonight, uh, today, depending on where you are, um, Quackshot, a uh, game from uh, 1991. Um, I'll be commenting myself, which is going to be a first for me, so hopefully uh, it will be okay. Uh, I'll probably be a bit more careful than uh, usual. Hopefully you won't die too much. Um, all right. We can start in three, two, one, go. And <laughs> obviously I didn't start with the good level, but uh, that will be okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, Quackshot is an interesting game. Uh, it's uh, kind of an early Metroidvania um, platformer, you'll see, and um, basically it's a mashup between uh, Donald Duck and Indiana Jones. So I started with the wrong level, but uh, that's okay. As you can see, you can choose the level uh, you want. Um, I should have started in Mexico, but uh, that won't matter too much. So there are a diff some key mechanics in the game. Uh, the first one is your main weapon is a plunger, so uh, you're not going to kill the enemies. Uh, we're going to stun them. And Donald is going to be able to upgrade his weapon as, uh, as we go along, so we're going to see that. Okay, I was trying to perform some long jumps here, but uh, obviously they don't work. <laughs> I'll try to show them to you. Um, this is going to be a pretty difficult stage to do uh, the fastest. I'm going to take uh, a safe route uh, because um, doing it very fast uh, requires you to do some long jumps, and I'm going to need to. Uh, I should need to perform eight of them in a row, uh, and they are almost uh, frame perfect techniques. So I'm taking it really slow here and the safe way so I'm gonna have to wait for every platform to painfully move but uh, basically on a good day doing it the fast way uh, we mainly pull it off maybe 20% of the time so it's not worth it worth it uh, attempting it uh, during a, a marathon all right so I'm gonna go back to Dogberg now because the temple is closed and I'm gonna talk to the guy we saw earlier here who's gonna give me the key and I'll call the plane and we're gonna get into the Mexican temple uh, I'm gonna jump to skip over the dialog box use the key as you can see uh, we have a nice uh, inventory and yeah, I was telling you it was kind of an early Metroidvania. As you can see, we can choose the choose the stage uh, we want to play, and uh, obviously some parts of the game uh, are going to require you to have some. Um, okay, shouldn't have stunned this enemy. That's not too bad. All right, I'm going to need to play it really safe now. Uh, yeah, because some stages you're gonna need some key objects uh, in, in order to um, to go further. Okay, I switch weapon. I I'm gonna use the popcorn in order to stun both blocks to get a fast climb here. I'm really gonna need to be careful because I'm very low on health here. So yeah, let's take it slow. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Let's try again. <laughs> Obviously not the good cycle I'm used to, but... Uh... That's okay. All right, we're back on track. Okay, this is a long jump uh, I was talking about earlier. And Goofy just gave us our first upgrade, which is the Red Plunger. And as you can see, this is a very important one because now we can jump and uh, walk on plungers. 
and that's going to be a core mechanic of the game uh, because the idea now is to create platforms on which Donald can stand and uh, hopefully get faster so yeah I'm playing very carefully here because I lost quite a bit of health You could think that uh, dying would be a good move here to just exit the temple, but uh, if you die, you go back to Goofy and you have to exit the temple again. So not a very good move. All right, we're out of the temple. And now we're gonna go back to Dogberg. Now with that, we can climb. You may have noticed we hit a wall here and now we can climb this wall. So this is the second part of Dogberg. Um, this boom uh, sign is a good indicator of uh, whether you're fast in this level or not. Uh, you can use it. To, you, you, basically, we try to chase it uh, on some good uh, good runs. Uh, we can uh, check the. We can see the boom sign all the way to the end. I'm gonna nap her from a. A long jump. I uh, may have missed it. I uh, will see. I may die here. Uh, I'm gonna just tell you in a second. Yes, I missed it. So uh, the jump was a small jump. If I can manage to do, yes, that was a proper one. So I, I did a long jump, which is as you as I, as I told you, a very precise technique. And now my jumps are much uh, more powerful. And there's an interesting. Uh, mechanic I mean it wasn't intended in the game but uh, if you perform a long jump uh, and uh, jump between zip line without touching the ground uh, Donald is gonna keep his momentum and uh, you're gonna be able to to go way faster so yeah death isn't too bad um, we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning and uh, so we we talked to gyro who gave us a new weapon which is the bubble and the bubble is gonna be very useful in the, the next level which is gonna be Transylvania the main mechanic of the bubble is uh, first it kills enemies okay that was pretty tight jump it kills enemies uh, unlike the plunger and it allows us to um, destroy some uh, elements blocks that are blocking the way so Transylvania uh, we're gonna see the first skip of the game I'm gonna try to do it fast and explain to you what's going on I need to get a really precise positioning and I can ah shit ah, I missed the sorry for that the swearing here I missed the boost uh, basically what I did is I jumped under the level and uh, with um, precise timing I could get I can get a boost uh, I didn't get it here but uh, that's not gonna stop uh, stop us from uh, getting to the end okay we're coming into the castle where the bubble is gonna prove useful as you can see there are blocks stopping the way but with the bubbles you can remove them uh, this is a screen that's gonna be pretty menuing intensive hopefully that uh, will be okay that was a long jump without the pause buffer uh, this is pretty uh, actually uh, a frame perfect technique and we are good okay this is the f only underwater level of the game uh, Donald is moving really slow I'm gonna attempt some long jumps which are even harder underwater um, as you can see I pause uh, we use this pose to buffer the long jump um, making it easier to pull off but underwater it's still really hard to to get and the issue is uh, when you miss a technique or a jump oh yeah I didn't get it that should have I should have time to jump yes if you miss underwater this is terrible because Donald is moving so slow that you lose a ton of time but that what that went pretty well okay this is uh, uh, an interesting screen because it's a, it's a, oh missed it 
that's okay. Uh, this is actually an infinite loop. <laughs> As you can see, if you get hit by the ghost here, uh, you fall through the, the platform. That's okay, we're going to wait for it. Uh, it's a hidden exit. If you just go to the to the right, uh, the, the level is going to loop endlessly. So you need to find a way out. Okay, here we're going to get the second skip of the game. I fell into the trap here. We're going to clip through all, hopefully, here. You're supposed to climb the wall to the right, uh, getting chased by uh, the wall that's uh, closing in on you. But uh, yeah, we can get a skip. This skip makes you lose a life, so you have to be careful when you do it, not to, to have only one life, because otherwise that's uh, going to be a game over. And this is the last screen of the castle, and we're coming into the very first boss of the game, which is Docula. Docula attacks you with a, by throwing you, throwing bats at you. So two take two strategies here: you can try to stun them, or just run for your life. I'm going to try to stun them, and um, I'm going to try to get a, a fast exit by doing the last uh, shot while jumping to the door jumping at the door, sorry alright jumping to the door maybe that should be it, yes and I got it alright, so that was Transylvania and now you'll notice that we have way more locations that have unlocked we're gonna go to India uh, you saw the pepper mechanics earlier in uh, Dogberg. Uh, basically, if Donald gets five peppers, you go into a frenzy. I'm not going to get five here uh, because I want to. Ah, I really need to be careful here uh, because I want to. <laughs> okay, I tried each time, each and every time here to get a long jump, but uh, they are really hard to pull off. All right, so I have now four peppers and. Um, in, on the next level, on the next uh, stage, uh, I'm going to use this to uh, zip through the, the whole stage by only grabbing one pepper. Uh, this stage is a maze. Um, doing it casually, it can be quite annoying. It's a very big palace, uh, but obviously it's a speed run. So it's a speed run, sorry, for, so you, we know the path. Uh, basically, the Maharaja told us that uh, he had uh, an issue with a tiger in his palace, so we're going to take care of him by using the corn, and hopefully I can get a fast, fast kill. Alright, that went pretty well. So to thank us, the Maharaja is going to give us a stone that's uh, gonna unlock a um, pyramid in Egypt. So that's our next uh, destination. And this is where I'm gonna take the last pepper and just zip through the whole level. Alright, and we're into the temple. Uh, the temple can be the pyramid, sorry, the pyramid can be a pretty technical level. Um, there, this is one of the levels when you hit a run ender, because as you'll see next, um, there is some platforming over fire, which is always fun in games. Uh, and. Uh, Dying here means a huge loss of time. So hopefully I can pull it off. Whoa, okay, and I got the skip. That was nice. All right, this went pretty well. I tried to 
to get a few long jumps here but obviously today <laughs> I cannot pull the long jumps but uh, pull off the long jumps but that's okay uh, you're not saying I'm doing a kind of a back and forth between the slope this is technique called the slope boost basically if you can uh, end your slide precisely as you get onto the slope you get a boost uh, I didn't get a good boost here but that's okay uh, you'll see on the next stage uh, I'm gonna use them a lot uh, so this is supposed to be a, a puzzle. Um, Goofy gave us um, a scroll uh, telling us which stone to push on the floor, but uh, we don't have time for it. We just uh, just use the plunger to race the falling ceiling. Uh, obviously, games of this era have to have to have a, a minecart level. This one isn't too bad. Just some precise jump if you need to, if you want to do them quickly. And we're out of the pyramid. All right. So now we're going to go to the South Pole level, which is a pretty short level but very technical. Um, I'm going to try to stay focused and uh, use some slow boost and long jump, long jumps to finish this stage pretty quickly I missed the long jump here ah and here yeah the gods of the long jumps aren't with me today yes I got this one and here we are using the scepter that we found in the pyramid to get the viking horn and the viking horn is gonna allow us to um, open the Viking ship which is another pretty technical level with uh, some precise jumps all right got hit here but uh, that's okay all right that wasn't too bad now I'm gonna try to get two Pretty precise long jumps here to save a bit of time. I got this one. And the next one is important because if you missed it, if you miss it, you can die. Alright, and I got into the zip line, keeping the momentum. Another slow boost and a long jump. Alright, that went pretty well. I'm gonna jump over the Viking to ah missed <laughs> missed missed the jump. You can actually skip the the dialogue uh, if you if you get it right. We're gonna use the horn to get into the the ship, and basically uh, what the Viking is telling us is the ship is haunted, um, and now we have to take care of the ghost captain. So pretty tough boss with a very precise technique I'm gonna stay focused but basically if I can just shoot at a very precise timing I can actually avoid his hits and chain hit him oh maybe a bit early yes all right all right so one miss isn't too bad so now the viking is giving us now the green plunger don't ask me how it works but uh, he has plungers too and uh, the green plungers are gonna, gonna allow us to um, use birds to fly because obviously donald duck isn't a bird so he cannot fly and uh, this is the way actually real ducks in real life fly uh, so very educational game <laughs> uh, this is the the only big side scroller of the game um, the positioning of the birds is not random um, but it changes uh, depending on Donald's position so it's it's not too bad uh, sometimes a bit annoying but uh, in a run this is where you can lose focus and, uh, and die stupidly so I'm gonna try to avoid doing that uh, we're gonna get into another platforming level on ice, uh, which is always fun. 
obviously falling into the water is, the in, is an instant death so and after this stage uh, we're gonna get the get to the biggest uh, skip of the game I'm gonna try to explain to you how it works um, basically you oh yeah that was scary all right So we're supposed to go under the ice, uh, have a whole maze level, but hopefully... Ah, missed it. Okay, with a very precise positioning, we can actually kill these blocks, uh, which we are supposed to kill from underneath, and get to the Viking Diary, which uh, leads us to the final treasure. So this saves a lot of time. Uh, oh, sorry. But uh, obviously, this is a, a pixel perfect skip, so the setup can be can be annoying to get. Um, of course, P Pete is gonna steal the the Viking diary, so we, we're gonna have to chase after him. Okay, a nice slow boost here. Another small side scroll section. Uh, this is a um, pretty annoying level uh, when you get inside the, the pit's lair. Um, you'll see there is probably the most annoying uh, screen of the game. Uh, a very, very tough platforming stage. Uh, hopefully I won't die there. Okay, another mine, mine card because of course why not and I'm gonna try to focus next because this is the platforming level which is really really difficult to pull off Okay, that I should be okay. All right, that's a relief. Th this is a run under for sure. Um, this is the fast si fastest cycle you can get, and uh, the jumps are really, really precise. So I'm really get glad to um, to have made it without dying. Um, I'm going to stop for a bit just to showcase you because this is an interesting skip. Uh, if you fall under this uh, this um, hole, you're going to die. This is a trap you're supposed to go through there. But we can use Donald's momentum to crouch, which you're not supposed to do, and, and slide. And so this is a, a nice little skip, a fun one. Okay, hit me please. <laughs> Alright, this went pretty well. Uh, and now we have to fight Pete. Uh, Pete is also annoying because he's really the on one of the only, uh, mostly the only uh, RNG part of the game. Uh, his movements can be really annoying to to control. Uh, sometimes you can you can get him where you want, but uh, most of the time he'll do whatever he wants. You can jump on. Oh, Mr. Mr. Head. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, this is where you don't want to end up. And this is where... Come on, man. Will you... F ah, okay. <laughs> that should be okay. So this is why he's annoying, because you never know where he's gonna go. Alright. So it should be far enough for us not to get hit. Maybe. No. But uh, I should be okay. Okay, one last hit. Uh, should be... Are you kidding me? <laughs> I really don't want to die here. Just gonna wait for him. And obviously, there's the last hit. <laughs> 
Ah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's do it more cleanly this time. Yeah, he can be pretty annoying. Sometimes you can get him where he wants and uh, all the time it's gonna be tough. Um, I really want this guy to to get killed. Alright. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get over there. Alright, we should be fine. He's gonna climb up. <laughs> See? <laughs> He's climbing up, then down, then up. Uh, it's really... can be really annoying. Like, Alright, so... Finally. So he's giving us back the Viking diary, which is gonna show us the location of the treasure that we're hunting, hunting for. Okay, got hit with the snake. There is sometimes a third snake, but uh, this is again a small RNG part. I'm gonna try long jump here. Yes, I got it. Okay, this, most of the shoots are traps. This is the only one that uh, works. The jumps on the vines are pretty precise. If you miss one, you fall to your death. And we're into the final temple of the game. These enemies can be annoying. Uh, basically, they can block your hits, but uh, if you're precise enough, you can hit them anyway. Okay, I tried long jump here, it didn't work. Basically, here we are chasing after this uh, stone. This is a, 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 a cycle that you don't want to miss because uh, we are trying to get a second cycle here to climb this tunnel. Uh, if you miss the, the window, you have to wait for like 10, 10 to 20 seconds to, to get the next one. Invisible platforms, always fun, but uh, it's, uh, it's easier than it looks. And this is the final boss. I'm gonna try to explain to you how we do it. Basically, we're gonna stun him at a very precise frame Okay, that should be good. Now I'm gonna chain it him. All right. And as long as I can hit him right as he's uh, losing his frame of his frames of invulnerability, invulnerability. That's very hard for me to say. Um, he basically is gonna stay glitched uh, and won't get his sword back. Uh, unfortunately, he's he has a lot of HP, so if you miss uh, a bubble, uh, if you if you miss a timing, he will get his sword back and he will kick your ass. Um, every hit he does uh, does two hit points and time. This is time. All right, it went uh, pretty well, some death here and there, but uh, all in all, I hope I. I showcased the game uh, and made you want to play it because it's a very fun game to play casually. Uh, we're gonna just uh, check out the end of the game. So Daisy is mad, obviously, uh, because she wants a present because she's shallow, as we all know. Uh, and she's gonna be really disappointed because Donald is only bringing back uh, a null statue. Fortunately, the nephews are really clumsy and they're gonna break the statue and inside the statue there is a very big necklace and now she's happy 
a very nice message for all the children all around the world. All right, that was a quick shot. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for the run. It was a very enjoyable run to watch. I think a lot of people quite enjoyed it too. Right, so update on the donation side of things. The foreign key issue we were having, which basically meant that the event ID wasn't being added to the donation properly, should now be fixed. Damien has tested it, it works with fingerprinting uh, blocked on Brave as well, which is great. <laughs> and it should also now work for everybody. So if you do donate, then it should work and everything should be working fine. Now, again, I was expecting problems. So I'm glad they've happened today. Again, anyone who has donated with that foreign key issue, the donations have gone through. The donations will be uh, given to everyone can. So don't worry about any of that. It's just that they haven't been added to the database, which means essentially when we have a login functionality, they won't appear on anyone's account because they're lost, essentially. In terms of that, they've been lost, but they haven't necessarily been lost from my side of things. So I do still have the donations. They will be donated to everyone can. Um, but that's as much as the record shows, really, of what there is of that donation um but anyway if anyone does want to donate damien has of course stuck it in the chat again has put the link to the donation page in the chat so go to that link there and get your donations in there are a few incentives and polls left of course for the event um we will now be going over to our next run which is going to be kefka 14 again and that'll be Elmo's Number Journey Easy Mode. So that's going to be a fairly short run. We're going to go over to that in just a moment. Uh, don't forget also other ways to donate include subscriptions, bits, ads, and all that stuff. We've had quite a lot of bits through, actually, uh, over the past hour or so, which is really, really nice. Thank you to everybody who's donated some bits. If you have any spare bits to donate as well, then please get those, donation, get those bits donated in as well. They do all count as well, and they will uh, help us towards our uh towards the donations that we eventually give to everyone can and they will also help with um future events and for uh costs of the event and stuff like that as well so thank you to uh thank you Jiwi, for the run if you have anything you'd like to say before we finish off then please say it now yeah thanks uh instasim for having me it be, it's been a blast a few deaths but uh that was okay uh good luck to all the runners and uh don't forget to donate and uh have a fun weekend thank you very much and we'll see you again soon bye bye